Alright, look at on the video. At the time of writing this, I posted the first Spirit Phone video about six months ago. It's been like nine at this point now I'm recording this, and have been posting other album rankings of months since. Honestly, I don't think if I made entire videos for each album, I would end up getting through much more. By the end of editing the Dinosaur Orchestra video, the feeling of being sick of making these was already trickling in, and it would be absolutely miserable having to do however many more or more of these. So instead, I'm just gonna do it all at once. I will be ranking, in order, Outsmart, Microwave the CD, Dimes, Circa 2000, Clown Circus. I've already ranked Life from the Haunted Candle Shop in the Dino video, but I'll give my extended thoughts on it. I accidentally deleted it in the recording, but uh, hip to the job of being damn skippy, I am become Christmas. And a bunch of singles, like One Weird Tip and the Mega vs. Spago releases. I won't be doing any of the Mouth albums or the Not For Resale OST. I also won't be ranking Almanac 2009 or Live Only Not, since they're just re-releases of other tracks. This won't have as many visuals, because one, it would be an absolute nightmare to have to edit, was probably gonna end up being an at least 20 minute video, and two, I don't really want to use fan videos as background footage anymore, and there isn't really anything else to use. Uh, there'll still be some visuals when needed, but for now I'm just gonna throw some Binding of Isaac gameplay in the back. Alright, let's get into it. These intros keep getting longer and longer. Outsmart was the first public release of Neil Cesariga under the name Trapezoid, or Deportaz, because he got sued for using the name Trapezoid. Uh, has no official release date since nobody bothered to remember. There isn't much to say about each track individually, since they're all just really MIDI instrumentals, but I'll give my thoughts on each one quickly. The Murrayless Murray Mix is an alright opener, B tier. Attention is pretty nice, I like the bridge area, A tier. Chaos is okay, I'm not sure what's up with the mixing, why this one specifically sounds like it was recorded on a toaster, but C tier. Molten Lava is just okay, C tier. Evil is nice, B tier. Weeps and or bibs is uh, alright I guess, B tier. As for sounds like a jackhammer, I'm running out of ways to say these are mediocre. The lucky song is like 3 seconds, D tier. The song that isn't a nice song goes on for a bit too long, A tier. The pack of the 50 foot zebras is a chill despite the name, B tier. The depressing song is anything but, C tier. Rock and drums is mid, D tier. Wawa or dance of the sugar plum fairies is nice, A tier. That is a nice fast paced song, B tier. Ah! is a mid song, C tier. Overall, Outsmart has some pretty alright songs, but they're mostly really repetitive. It's great for a first release though, I can't say mine was much better. My created this CD is next up, it was released in 2001 and was partially lost media for a bit actually. The album as well as Outsmart were hosted on mp3.com, which ended up shutting down in 2003 and nobody had any copies of the album. Some of the songs were still available, but everyone forgot the official tracklist and nobody had any idea what the cover looked like. One day some dude named Jake found a CD in his closet and shared the tracklist and cover, so he pretty much got it all back. Rank in time. Murray Mix is the Murrayless Murray Mix, but with Murray, the Mighty Demonic Skull, A tier, because it's kind of funny. Murray Mix Sugar Rush is the last track, but twice as fast. Uh, Neil invented Nightcore, A tier, because uh, it means the same song, but slightly funnier. El Disco Malvado de Muerta, I just butchered that, is an alright song, C tier. Molten Lava 2000 is remixed of the other Molten Lava from the last one. It's better, so B tier. The Chook is like Big Evil Santa, is really quiet for some reason. Anyways, it's alright, C tier. Seizures in the Sun is pretty nice, sounds kind of like a song that would be a Mario Kart DS, B tier. The Horror is alright, I like the guitar and funky parts, B tier. Sam and Max Disco is great, I love Sam and Max, and it genuinely is just better than the other songs. S tier. World War Something is nice. I like the drums. B tier. Untitled wasn't even good enough to be given a name. D tier. The Chips is alright. C tier. Smajo's Journey is pretty nothing. If you, you took every Deporta task release and combined them into one song, it would be this. C tier. Whoop is an experience. B tier. Scope is a breath of fresh air after all these samey tracks. A tier. Cheesy as cheese is real fast. B tier. D Wiz is alright. C tier. I'm realizing a lot of these use a really similar chord progression. Zombies is an underwhelming ending track, it's just another Deportes track, same style, same chord progression, oh my god, it's all the same shit in different flavors. Alright, on to Dimes in the Last of the Midi Era, fucking finally. I know, I know these three are like gonna take like two minutes in the video, but you gotta keep in mind, for me, it's just three hours of- Where I pause what I'm doing while listening to them every few minutes to write about them. Anyway, on, on to the album. I Know Your Name is actually non-instrumental. It's the first fully original lyrical song, and it's pretty damn good for a first time. I mean, he made it when he's 14. It's pretty impressive. That said, while it's good for a first time and good compared to the rest of the album, it's, like, not, like, super great. It's about a guy who knows everyone's names, but he doesn't really. He's pretty much just guessing. S tier compared to everything else, though. Back to the MIDI tracks, to the next album, yay! Blue Goggles is nice, A tier. The world's worst secret track has the correct name, because it isn't secret, it's just the third one. It's good enough, B tier. Antispire is an alright song, but it's long as hell, it's like 5 minutes, C tier. Pink Lemons Exists is a fun short track, it's about as long as I think most of these should be, it's just short and sweet, A tier. Monkey Brain Soup for the Soul is yet again just okay, and it goes on for way too long. It does do the Innocence glitch melody for a second though. C tier. 
My Turtle King Bob is okay, C tier. Wizard Hat Pie is a really weird song that also features lyrics, but not from Neo, but from a guy named Schmorky, who you should not associate with. The lyrics are weird, I, I do not like this song, D tier. Duracell is alright, I'm not sure if anyone else has noticed, but this has a melody later used in word disassociation. B tier. Killed by Telephones is a cover. It's fun, but it's not his. B tier. 0, 1, 1, 0, etc. is fine. The title just translates to binary. C tier. Super Deadlight X is nice. Doesn't overstay its welcome. A tier. Sim Fandango is pretty funky. B tier. Please Don't Recycle is fun. It uses a synth that's really similar to the Megalovania synth and a banjo similar to the Banjo Kazooie Bango. A bango? Banjo. A tier. Invisible Blood is six goddamn minutes! It's more of a soundscape type deal for the most part. B tier. That's it for the Portaz slash Midi era. And well, mostly, mostly none of these were super bad, but I need you to understand how boring it is to listen to these tracks with usually nothing to say about them for three albums. I took, I took so many breaks in this one part of writing the script. I, rank, I ranked out smart in like March onto Cloud Circuit. <sighs> okay, so just kidding. Okay, so I put uh, Circuit 2000 in the wrong spot on the timeline. So as of writing this, I've actually finished writing Clown Circus. I mean, I mean, I was right. The album released in 2008, so after Dinosaur Orchestra, but I don't want to rank this like essentially last when I did the rest of the MIDI like forever ago. Anyways, I have to rank more MIDI now. I thought I was done. All right, so Circuit 2000 is like only kind of an album. Pretty much Neil took a bunch of his old songs they'd never released or didn't finish and just put them on here. Like, like it's at least only it's only 20 minutes. Milkshake City, here we come. Is all right. C tier. Birth of a Cosmonaut is actually pretty good. A tier. A Ladybug Adventure is just okay. Oh my god, I'm so fucking tired. I just left that in the script. I don't even remember writing that. I just put, oh my god, I'm so fucking tired, C tier. Anyways, Space Train is actually really funky, B tier. Sometimes my heart goes like this is a concerning melody. Nobody's heart should beat like this, B tier. James A. Minefield sounds like a weird remix of the Murrayless Murray mix, C tier. Squats sure is an unfinished and unreleased song, E tier, this sucks. When Grandma regains consciousness, she'll thank us. She's a funny name, the song itself is pretty good, A tier. Seco RC is okay, C tier. Holy Cow is a masterpiece compared to every other MIDI thing so far, S tier. Steam powered laser beam is fine, but way too long. B tier. Okay, now I'm done with the mini shit until I make Mega vs. Spago. That'll be in a bit when I do the singles. On to Clown Circus for real. Clown Circus, released in 2003, is the first use of the band name Lemon Demon. It has the album art of all time. It also features Lemon Demon, the song. Let's get into it. Error is an instrumental opening. As far as those go, that's pretty interesting comparatively. C tier. Lemon Demon, the song, is about THE Lemon Demon who sells lemonade, which is concerning if you think about it. I like the lyrics and the up and down digital thing the vocals do, I don't know what the actual term is, but it's good. A tier. 10,000 light years away is nice, it has no meaning, but I like the vocals for it. B tier. I don't be like the sun seems to have a meaning, but I can't for the life of me figure out what it is. Both the official lyrics and the wiki have nothing to say for it, so I'm gonna last. It might be parroting the whole be like the sun and shine inspirational quote that's been around since the dawn of time, but I don't know. Anyways, it's alright, it was the first song officially released under the Lemon Demon name on the Ed Imputation mailing list, C tier. Bowling Alley is Neil monologuing about a dream he had with dancing Santas who can't see him. It's funny, but you could really get the same experience reading the lyrics, C tier. Wrong is a song about how you're wrong, you'll never be right. It's fun, which is the only correct opinion about it, B tier. Hazel's modus operandi is another meaningless one, but it's fun, I like the chorus, it's really catchy, I just wish it was better produced, A tier. Idiot Control Now is a cover of a song from Mystery Science Theater 3000, I really don't like this one, it sounds so claustrophobic and uncomfortable, D tier. Pepper and Soul is about a guy in a zombie apocalypse bringing about a second apocalypse on accident, it's it's not great, also D tier. Holy Bison Beaks is just a song that breaks the fourth wall a bunch, it's pretty funny, B tier. Somnolence is about the feeling you get just before falling asleep, I actually really like this one, A tier. Fire motif is about fire. There's no room for interpretation, really. That's just what the original description said. Yeah, again, this one was really good. I just really wish it was remade now with better mixing and mastering. A tier. Yakuko Juichi 2003 is about the animation of the same name. It's pretty much entirely bullshit, like the animation, but I love it. This song was popular on TikTok for a hot second a little bit ago, which was surprising. But if it was going to be any from this album, it was going to be this one. Though, personally, the beef bastard part wasn't that great, in my opinion. Still, a highlight of the album last year. Everywhere else is the closer, and it's a fun instrumental track. Pretty long, though. B tier. Clown Circus was incredibly refreshing after the last three albums, which is to say I wasn't done with everything for the day after listening to it like I was with all the Deportat stuff. I could use some better mixing and vocals, but it's early. We, we, we obviously know we fixed that. Alright, Life of the Haunted Candle Shop time, except not really because I already ranked it. Yes, these are my real thoughts, give or take. I mean, there's, there's probably some subtle differences, but I, I swear to God, you won't make me listen to this album again. My problem with it is that all the songs, for the most part, sound pretty much the same except Blue to Jabuja, where he does gas singing and also does in a different key from the rest of the album. If you like this album, but okay, but like, like why? There's, there's a genuine chance I would quit making this video if I had to rank this one genuinely again. On a hit to the Java Bean. 
Tip to the Jaw of Bean is a cool album and probably the first one that's like like good. Like there's no bad tracks on this one. It's, it's not amazing or anything, but for the most part, it's a massive improvement from the last two. What's in the toaster is about toast. I don't have much to say about it since it's 25 seconds, but see tier. Sunbeam Light Show Flower Seed is about someone in a friend group feeling excluded from it. It's good. I like the tone. See tier. Musical Chairs is about musical chairs. It has fun lyrics and a bouncy feel, and it's just a fun track to listen to in general. A tier. Atomic Copper Claw is about someone who thinks someone around them has an atomic copper claw and wants to kill them. It's a really good song, I love it, it's just super solid, the part where it slows down is great too. S tier. Your Evil Shadow is a cup of tea is about asking questions. It's really not notable, I can't think of anything more to say about it, like at all. B tier. Telekinesis is about nothing. I love a good musical JFK reference though, so B tier. Matches and Nails is about someone who thanks objects for all the stuff they do. The idea is really sweet and I like the transition to telekinesis from this. C tier. Relativity is about the theory of relativity. It's really hit or miss. Like, one second the vocals suck, and the next second it's the beautiful chord of vocals that transcend reality. It's good overall, though. B tier. The Fancy Pants Manifesto is about a group who thinks they're too good for other people. I like the part where the bass switches between the left and right ear. B tier. Go to Hollywood is about a famous person who eventually becomes less popular and tries to become famous again to no real avail. I really like the sound of this one. It's just really interesting. A tier. I Know Your Name is a remade version of I Know Your Name. Who would have thought? I like the other one, and this one is better, so I obviously like this one. It's just better generally. A better vocal, better guitar, just some accordion. B tier. Consumer horror is about someone who's so enwrapped with consuming anything anyone wants to sell them that they lose the ability to do pretty much anything else. A tier, it's good. Between You and Me is about someone in a long distance relationship. It's just okay, it's slow, and the instrumental isn't great, and I, I just don't like love songs in general. D tier, to be honest. I've got some falling to do is about a guy falling to his death. I already like this song, but I like the version on the font more. It's just more well produced. But I like this song a lot compared to the rest of the albums of a future version of itself. It's great. I like the synth solo. I feel like a lot of solos don't get the proper time to do their thing, but this one does. It's good. S tier. Sick Puppy is 10 minutes long. 8 minutes is an intro, but it's not without purpose, I guess. The song is about someone suffering with mental illness, and the intro is supposed to convey someone going insane. I can't play the whole thing here, but it makes sense if you listen to it. It's overall a pretty atmospheric song that you can zone out to. A tier. Bonus Tracks Times is the first album to have them. Almond is an instrumental. It's not super great. D tier. Bad Ideas about someone who's really unlucky and ends up fighting zombies. It's good. I like the fast tempo and are cut with the slow parts. B tier. I forgot to say it. Behold the Future is a broadcast of things that will happen in the future. It's funny to hear that your 2000 2004 is a far off year, and today it's literally 20 years ago. The future forecasts are fun though. A tier, which is surprising for a bonus track, it just has a fun feel. Crazy how he was right, like all of these all actually happened too. Not Applicable and Roman Robot Statues are just two mid instrumentals, D tier. Run Harry Run is about Harry Potter getting punked by Dumbledore. It's got funny lyrics, but I really have no idea what the mastering this is doing. The vocals sound like they're from a clown circus track, C tier. Take a Picture is about taking pictures so we can remember things since we can't do them again. It's nice, B tier. There's a robot in my head is abrasive, to say the least. D tier, I don't like this one. Overall, Hip to the Java Bean is a good album. It's a good amount of improvement from Clown Circus, at least. But other than Atomic Copper Claw, there really aren't any songs that I would listen to consistently. Damn, skip time, yay! I originally thought about just doing this one to finish things off, but I figured I was already a good way into Lemon Demon's discography. Damn, skip is a great album. For me, it's up there with Spirit Phone, Be Monster, and Dinosaur Orchestra's The Good Albums. Starting off with an instant banger, we have Dead Sea Monkeys. It's about sea monkeys and how often they uh, tend to die. I really like the chorus and the bridge in this one. It's great. Real easy S tier. Sky is not blue is about, quote, Things that are usually one color not being that one color. It's great. I like the chorus and the accordion and the Lego part is nice. Also, the claws. Yeah! Right here. Pumpkin pie is about a guy in medieval times who made a really good pumpkin pie and doesn't want to be famous. Then the king tortures him for the pumpkin pie recipe, but doesn't give it to him. It's got a nice bouncy feel and it's got fun vocals. B tier. When robots attack is about robots taking over the world. It's really catchy. I like the synth rock feel. I guess a lot of lemon even synth rock, but this one is especially synth rock. The synths in this one are top class. S tier. God, this album really is just banger after banger. Geeks in Love is about two geeks in love. It's pretty self-explanatory. The lyrics are whatever, and I get that it's poking fun at hip geeks, but it's just whatever. The instrumental's amazing, though, especially the guitar, A tier. New Way Out has nonsense lyrics and some Japanese parts. It's still good, though. I don't care about lyrics, bro. It's just a good bouncy song. The Rhodes piano and guitar solos are cool, too. B tier. What Will Happen Will Happen is a song Neil wrote about not being depressed for his friends after Bush won the election. It's great once you get to the bouncy part, and the rest is good, too. A tier. Kitten is Angry is about a cat who just makes a mess and fights people and stuff. It's alright. Compared to the rest, it's really not anything to write home about at all. C tier. The ceiling is about looking up at the ceiling and trying to see shapes in it. It's really, really forgettable. I, I literally thought this was a part of subtle oddities while writing this. I just forgot to rank it. It would be nice to zone out to, I guess, but I'm trying to jam C tier. Subtle oddities is about, quote, maybe a haunted house. You literally can't get more vague than that. Anyways, it's nothing notable, but it's good. I like the Rhodes piano, B tier. Gonna dig up Alec Guinness is about exactly what it sounds like. It's pretty basic for the most part. I like the ending joke, though. Still C tier. Flamingo Legs is about nothing. Man, these last three have been really hard to write about. I'm glad he got better at writing songs that mean something. It's it's cool, I guess. C tier. 
when I started writing this album, I was thinking, man, this might be my favorite Lemon Demon album, thinking about it. So many of the songs are good, but then I remembered that in between the starting five and ending five, there's a bunch of the middle five. These ones aren't that great. Ode to Crayola is about someone who loves Crayola crayons a whole lot. This one's really good, but as with the I've Got Some Falling to Do, I like the pump release more with its guitar focus vibe. This one is more piano accordion focused with barely any synths. It's good though, even on this release. The one synth it does have is really good. The vocals do kind of sound odd. The mastering is like just off enough. B tier. Alright, here on this one. Rainwater is amazing. It's about someone wondering how safe rainwater really is to drink, and the instrumental is just so good. The hook is great, the guitar is great, and everything about it is just really good. I love the part where all the vocals start to glitch out, and honestly, I just love that effect in any music. In my opinion, this song is absolutely S tier. Smell like a cookie all day is about someone who is thinking of killing themselves, but then they put vanilla behind their ears to smell like a cookie, and they're just happy forever now. The real gimmick with this song, though, is that it's hiding an entire other song in it. Like, that's the point. You think it's another song. And I really like the other song with its rock focus, though some of the syllable placements are really aggravating to me. Overall, it's good though, A tier. Dizzy Full Bliss is about the fuzzy feeling you get after spinning around a bunch and getting dizzy. I really like this one, it's such a chill time and the soft vocals are really fitting. It also transitions in from the last song really well. Also, the lyrics are like, notably good, A tier. Word disassociation isn't about anything, but all the words are completely unrelated to each other. You know, like, word association, but like, dark and fucked up. A glimpse into Neil Sarigas' twisted psyche would make most simply go insane. This, this, is what normal, this is what normal word association is like for me. Anyways, this one's great. I really like the bridge and all the vocals stack on top of each other in both ears. It's just really good, S tier. Eventually gives really big Murray Lewis Murray mix vibes. It's pretty good. I like all the synths and as a closer it does the job. I'm not sure if this was intentional, but when he says you in one part, it's said in the same way as he says you in musical chairs, so if that was intentional, it's a great time. I'm going insane. I'm going fucking insane from listening to these. B tier. B stands for BONUS TRACKS! Yeah, BONUS TRACKS. Then. Bicycle Race is a queen cover. My parents played this song a lot when I was little, so I'm kind of biased for this one. C tier. Fuzzy is an incredible Moses Leroy cover. It's just okay, D tier. March of the Living Figments is a building a cappella song. It's it's high key, it's high key FT. You will not catch me listening to this shit, bro. It's awful, in my opinion. Mothers is an instrumental. It's like all the other bonus tracks so far. D tier. I don't find Mr. Porta Potty Man funny. D tier. The alternate musical chairs is good. It's a more fleshed out version of the original one, and it feels more lackadaisical if that makes sense. It's good C tier. Set a lot of these cheesy synth mixes is the song, but with a bunch of 80s keyboards. It's good, C tier. Overall, Damn Skippy is the first Lemon Demon album I'd say to actually be like, good. I use local files to listen to some of these songs since they aren't on Spotify because they're actually good. I Am Become Christmas, the Christmas EP, perfect to rank in May, trust me bro. I was gonna do it in December, but that month ended up being really busy to me, not only for like school and personal stuff, but also I was finishing up my EP so I could get my deadline, so I ended up not ranking this one. But I eventually did it, I'm here, so let's go. Really to Presence is a fun atmospheric synthy song, I like how you use synths that are used in other Christmas songs, it's really cool. Anyways, it's just a fun short instrumental for the EP. B tier. Christmas Will Be Soon is about how Christians stole Christmas from pagans and gentrified it, but you really wouldn't be able to tell that from the tone of the lyrics of the song. It's upbeat as hell. You could honestly play this at any Christmas event and nobody would think anything of it. It's a really fun Christmassy song and I like the vocals of it, especially the part where the drums come in. Honestly, this song is really just underrated. I love it, S tier. Aurora Borealis is about someone in a nuclear winter trying to convince someone to stay with them even though it's really a lost cause to bother saying. It's a fun song that got popular on TikTok quite a bit ago and I can see why, it's just really good. I like the more synthy feel, really the only non-synth is the piano and it's not really in it that much. I also know the song on the piano vaguely, which bumps it up in the ranking a bit. A tier for Aurora Borealis. SAD is an acronym for Seasonal Affective Disorder, which is just Seasonal Depression. The song has some weird instrumentation, but it's still good, just not any kind of combination you'd expect. But it does sound like how Seasonal Depression feels. If you want to feel sad, listen to this speech here. Crypto Santa is about a company trying to use science to open a portal to bring presents to everyone so they can just get a little bit of profit, just a, just a little bit of a lot of profit. And then someone walks into the space lasers they used to open the portals, which causes a bunch of body horror stuff, eventually turning them into Santa Claus. I like the drums in this song, they go really hard, especially in the bridge. The song is just really good, A tier. And that is the last full release finish, but there's also a few singles, and I really want to make sure there's no way I could possibly do another one of these with this, so I'm going to do a speed round, making all the singles really fast. Also, I'm not including a bunch of these, they're only the notables. There's, there's nothing to say about Neil.Soul, bro. One weird tip is about scam emails and some other shady internet stuff. It's really good S tier. Funky Town is about how you shouldn't go to Funky Town and pretty much just makes a bunch of references to other songs. I really like it though. And A tier. Bird Fucker was released under the name Grapes and Sunshine and it's about exactly what it says. It's honestly not that bad, it's just really edgy. But I like that he refused to swear on the song about fucking birds, but other than that, it really doesn't have any redeeming qualities. D tier. Het is another Deportaz MIDI from the Mega vs. Spago release, which contained a whole two songs, which is why I'm ranking them here. It's just another fucking MIDI. Same with cryogenic phrasing process. I'm sick of these C tier. Elvis Porn was made because it won a poll on song names to make into real songs on a little website. It's okay, B tier. Gravity Falls is a rejected theme song for so. It eventually got remixed into Moon's Request. It's okay, I see why it was rejected, just as a really fit. C tier. It's gonna go weird as a rejected villain song for Bill Cipher. It would have fit well and it's good. It sucks it didn't get in. B tier. And that's it! It's done!
Ah! This video took quite a bit. I started making it in like March. Anyways, the intro was long, so I'm gonna cut down the outro. Subscribe, follow me on TikTok, Twitter, Twitch. Go listen to my music on Spotify and other places. Bye. Ah! Hey, what is this? Some sort of end card? Anyways, uh, thank you for watching the video. It took, it took. I was. I started making this in like early March. It's now late May. Uh, but yeah, I managed to release it by May. I was kind of worried I wasn't gonna be able to. Re it's May 28th. I'm. I'm re it was really uh, scraping by. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, that's all. I'm done making Neil Cesariga related video. It's I I call him Neil in the in the video. It feels weird calling him Neil because like like I'm not his friend. Like, anyways, anyways, uh, off topic. Uh, that's that's it. Uh, probably unless I think of a better idea, I'm not gonna be making videos ranking shit anymore just because I'm kind of done with the whole genre. All right, goodbye.